up, you guys? This is Rob from Gay Guy Plays, and today on Dress to Kill, we're gonna be doing something just a little bit different. Now, in a previous video where we covered the new kind of like eye gradations that D has put in, as well as Focus 2.5, a lot of people asked me a very interesting question about my operator. They wondered exactly how I made my operator look so human. That's not something that I was genuinely expecting as a response. Um, however, I wanted to go ahead and I posted this thread and the community uh, thread for the YouTube page. And I wanted to see if people were actually curious about trying to make their operators uh, look a bit m m better, more human, like an operator dressed to kill on specifically on faces. And a lot, a lot of people apparently are having some issues. <laughs> So I figured why not go ahead and post this up to kind of help you guys out with a little bit of face blend My tactics on how to make it work for you um, Just so that you guys could have something a bit better now I do want to make notes This is going to be focusing on the male side as y'all know I'm not really you know trying to get into female faces which already sounds wrong This video is just starting off with a nice tone, isn't it? Um, regardless I kind of wanted to go ahead and show off my strategies of how to do it and then later on in the video I'm actually going to give you a couple I guess face recipes this is just this is just gonna be bad isn't it? it's gonna be really really bad so I figured let's go ahead and start off with the basics real quick before I dig myself a bigger hole than I need to um, but as you can see face blend is the tool that we're really gonna be working with today and as you can see it's basically a slider that slides between two different um, faces that you select. Now, one of the things that I do want to point out for you guys is that your primary face, which is this one right here, is going to keep a lot of the face structure when you're doing your customization. So you'll notice that you tend to keep the brows, like the brows might shift and move around a little bit, but you will always keep the same like eyebrows. Another thing that you'll notice is that you tend to keep the same eye shape, but the brows tend to furrow just a little bit. Um, also, you kind of tend to have the same nose shape-ish. It'll blend out a little bit, but those are kind of like the main key points. But as you can see here, uh, you will shift in face shape a little bit and a little bit in the expression between the two, but you pretty much keep what you got. It just blends into the other face, all right? I hope that makes sense. Um, now, let's go ahead and jump into the primary faces, but what I'm gonna do when I first select a face and try to figure out exactly what I'm trying to do is I switch it all over to the primary face. So just remember, when you go all this way, it's just the primary face that you're seeing. Um, now, as you can see here, when we first start out, these are all of the female faces up top. And there are, there are 13 female faces and 13 male faces. So as you can see, here is your selection of male faces. And you just basically go down the line. And this is kind of like, you know, for lack of better terminology, this is almost where I kind of like select um, my ethnicity a little bit. Because I feel like the ethnicity tends to kind of like dictate the facial structure. Or if there's a specific face structure that you really like, that you really kind of like, kind of um, are drawn to the most. As you can see here, I feel like he's a little bit like, he's got a little bit of like Asian in him. He's got a little bit of maybe Eastern Asian? Listen, I don't know. You, you guys know I'm a bad Asian. I don't know where, where in Asia things come from. But as you can see, you can kind of move through. This guy's got some snatched brows. Y'all want some snatched brows? This is how you get them. You keep that dude and then you blend into some other faces. Um, there are some other faces in here that I really, really like for um, this guy. I love. Those brows are just fucking luscious. That's where we started with. Um, but this one's got like a cherubic face, a very, very rounded face. So it's something that you can either blend into or you can keep as your main structure, especially if you like the brows. Um, and you just kind of go through each and every single one to see exactly where you want to start. This is your starting point. Remember, like I said, you're going to keep the brows on this guy. You're going to keep the eye shape and then you can kind of blend around a little bit. So where I'm actually going to start with is I'm going to start with my favorite guy with the brows because he looks super cool. Um, then we're going into the secondary face. So as you can see right here, um, that's the primary face on its own. When we slide this over, that's going to be half and half. And that's the way that I like to kind of like attack the secondary face. That sounds bad. I'm attacking the secondary face. But what you do now is you kind of go through and you kind of blend other faces into that face. 
So as you can see here, there is actually a lot of really great combinations that you can make with that first initial face that you might have initially been turned off of because legitimately when you see just one face on its own, you're like, okay, that structure on its own might be a little bit jarring at some points. Like I was saying, I wasn't a fan of the fact that, you know, the nose was so, I believe it was turned down. Um, that the nose was so turned down and I was like, all right, well, I want I want to have something that has a little bit more turn up on the nose, you know, this and that. And what you can do is just kind of select through and see exactly what you want to do. See right here, I felt like the nose was a little tur turned down for me. Like I wasn't super, super fond of that. But you can go through and kind of like play around um, with the way things are turned using the face blendage tool. So what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is pick up what I like to call like smiley face. He's got a little, see if you look, you, you look here. A little smirk it's got a little smirk that comes up um so this is actually the current combination that i'm working with just because i like the smileage on it now if i wanted a little more smile i could kind of like put that in as you can see he raises his brows a little bit he's like hey because this guy's happy guy look at him he's happy he had a good day but you know maybe you were fighting a lot of veneer maybe we're not the happiest of days you can kind of turn it down a little bit and you can kind of blend to how you feel is appropriate so that's the biggest thing that I suggest people do, but when you're selecting the secondary face, I always feel like it's better to start off in the middle so that you can figure out, you know, you're like, oh, can I work with this face or not? As you can see right here, I think another face that I really like for it is a little bit of that action too. Kind of cuts the chin up just a little bit. Looks a little bit more serious, slightly worried maybe, um, but there's a lot of great combinations. I'm actually gonna show you um, a very interesting combination right now. So. This, this this guy, I'm actually very fond of to blend in with a lot of other faces. I've used his face to blend in with many, many other faces. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna point out the primary face. So as you can see, we've got him as the primary face right here. He's he's the one with the bushy brows. He got the, he got the strong brows, right? Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flip it and I'm gonna show you what happens when you set a different, when you set the same face as the primary face. So as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and grab that guy that same guy we had before and as you can see it's the same it's the same face because I'm, I'm blending back and forth that is now the primary face now we're gonna go ahead and select the guy with the cool brows um, we're gonna go ahead and select him again let me make sure that that was him I'm pretty sure that is him um, he's got a little bit more of an oval face and he's got a little bit of a sharper chin but as you can see here because we flip-flopped because we use the guy um, with we, we use the other guy, like the starting off guy, and then we blended this one into that one. The face looks completely different. And that's why I highly suggest that you guys go and kind of like play around with what your primary face is and what your secondary face is. So as you can see here, so that's so this is this is that face, right? I'm gonna go back over. I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna go select him again. So where are you, Beb? Where are you, Beb? Oh, did I not scroll down all the way? Disappeared, did he? Where are ya? Where are ya? That's not him. There you go. So that's cool bushy brows face, see? We go back and forth, and that's the face. So it basically kind of shows you that the primary face that you choose is very, very important. Um, now the last thing that I like to do, well, let me go ahead and <laughs> select the secondary face real fast. We'll do smiley man face. A little, a little smiley man. Um, the last thing that I like doing, and this is going to be a weird setup for some people, you guys are going to be like, Rob, you're kind of insane, um, is I like going through it, I like watching them talk. The Lotus is counting on us. So as you can see, this is kind of like my final step to see, I'm like, alright, does he look like the devil when he's talking? I hope we're Like, ready does for this. he look like a crazy person, All or right, is that a face that I'm work. okay with when it comes to talking? And that pretty much does it for face selection. The, um, the only thing else that I guess we you would kind of like want to cover is fail. maybe skin tone and like eye color, but that's really up to you guys, whatever you want to do um, when it comes to personalizing your operator. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to throw up some recipes on screen, and I'm, I'll be honest with you, I have like a million gazillion bajillion face recipes it's just gonna sound weirder and weirder as I say it out loud um, but I have several of them and if I get the time out I'll go ahead and post additional face recipes down below it just sounds worse and worse and worse and worse
Now before we go, I figured I would go ahead and point out one more thing that a lot of people have been going crazy about is that we can now put on multiple accessories on our operators. As you guys have seen in the past, I've actually used um, I've actually used the Katir Atmos earpiece, which I'm very, very fond of, which is kitty ears. However, you know, sometimes it's doing too much, and here's the thing. Because you can select so many accessories at once, you can be doing too much. And if you want to do too much, that's completely and utterly up to you. How about, but how about, how, however, um, I personally am going to pare it down just a little bit. Maybe I'll put on like an earring or something. I don't know. Um, I'll play around with it, but I usually don't like having too many things going on when it comes to accessories. Just because I feel like it makes you look a little crazy and in real life, I would be wearing those things. Of course, in real life, I also would be like some sort of like space ninja. Um, the last thing that I do want to kind of like go over are markings. Um, some people really like markings and will go crazy with them. I personally think they make you look like a monster if that's what you want to look like. I mean, hey, if that's your aesthetic, you you embrace your aesthetic. You do what you want. However, if I am going to go for markings, I would go for something simple, kind of like this one. You know, got some adornments in there. I like this one as well. Just the ones that aren't too obtrusive or crazy because there are some out there where you can kind of embrace minimalism not go too nuts but still have a couple little pieces here and there right so um if you're looking for a way to make yourself a little more human <laughs> um markings probably aren't the way to do it however if you insist there are some that are not so crazy obtrusive definitely play around with uh that Regardless, that about does it for this video. I hope that that helped. Let me know if you have any other requests when it comes to operator customizations. Um, I've done a video previously on other operator customizations. I think the first set, um, if I'm gonna be frank with you, I'm not super happy with the new sets that we received. That's why I haven't really covered them. Uh, but let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you feel that we should have a little bit more of a discussion on. As you guys can tell, you know, I pay attention to what y'all are saying. So um, yeah, toss that in the comments and as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your butt. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.